Hi everybody and welcome to another foil review. Today I'm going to review the W695 from Moses. Before I start, remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking the subscribe button down there and mashing that bell to be notified. Uh, if you like our content, remember you can always um, buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com. Link will be below in the description. The Moses 695 has a 69.5 centimeter span and a center cord of 13.1 centimeters and tapers down to about 7 centimeters before it goes into the wingtip shape. The 695 is the usual Moses. Um, carbon sandwich construction with a foam core and as usual it is attached with the three M6 Torx screws. The 695 is designed for the 647 kite fuselage. It doesn't fit on the surf fuselage or the windsurf fuselage. It has a surface area of 650 square centimeters and is classed as a high aspect kite wing. If you compare it to the W550 it's got a lot more low end and also it has a much nicer sort of stall characteristic when you start getting closer to a stall. It recovers a lot easier. If you're going to compare it to the 633 or the 679, um, it's got a little bit less low end. It takes about two, three knots more forward speed to um, engage and properly get going and it carries a lot more high-end speed than those bigger wings but it is not as fast as a W550. So what is the advantage of using this wing um, compared to the W550 or the other kite wings? What I found is jumping in light wind this thing is amazing. It lands really well, it's really easy to land foiling with this, it's really easy to um, nail your tacks and jibes with this um, compared to the W550. It feels a lot less aggressive than the W550. It gives you sort of a nice smooth turn, sort of nice and nice, sort of drawn out radius, but you never really have that feeling that you're going to stall and fall off the foil. Compared to the surf wings like the 633, it gives you a much better acceleration forward, which makes it a better jumping wing, with however almost a similar turning characteristic to the 633 and the 679 um, when you're sort of carving it and so on. So you could actually use it in a wave if the wave is fast enough. If you are a heavier rider, this is definitely the kite wing you really want to start out on. It's probably got the most low end out of any of the wings. It is also the easiest to control um, out of all the wings. So if you're only ever planning on using the kite fuselage, this is at the moment the biggest wing they do for this fuselage and it gives you the best low end performance. What stabilizer should you choose? My personal favorite is the 421. That's the race stabilizer. You can also use it with the 430 if you want a little bit more front foot pressure and a bit more um, pitch and yaw stability. And if you really like it super loose, you can use it with the 325. Um, that'll give you a very sort of skatey, loose feeling to it and will allow you to basically carve a bit better. Again, I like the 421 because it's got a nice um, stability sort of in the middle between the 325 and the 330 where it still gives me enough yaw stability and pitch stability um, but recovers really nice on jumps and allows for um, a much sort of more comfortable ride. So to recap, the 695 
It is an amazing light wind kite wing for the kite fuselage. It is amazing for jumping and easy to land. It's a great foil to learn tricks with. It doesn't quite have the high end of the W550 or the other kite race wings, but it is probably the best sort of light wind kite wing they have for the kite fuselage. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel by clicking on the link below. I'll see you on the water. Rock on.